Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a bombshell of a report to share with you from the JFK Files, another bombshell uh, that has just come out. And I told you guys as, as we come across this information that I would share it, and, I, and I've got so much to tell you about Martin Luther King, MLK, uh, some secrets and some things that might disturb you, a forewarning, and I ask you, please don't shoot the messenger. I am just sharing the facts that were discovered in the newly released documents. And what is MLK doing in there anyway? Well, good question, and I'll get to that. Uh, but real quick, I want to say, thankfully, the November 4th protest by Antifa uh, uh, went south. Uh, and hardly any showed up. I think they had 22 cities with small groups of people at it. So thankfully not too much violence or craziness going on. Uh, but I don't think that, you know, we've heard the last of them. I guess I'm sure they'll rear their ugly heads later. But hopefully this is a big slap in the face with Antifa, especially considering they took out a page ad in the New York uh, Times Magazine there and their turn up was crap. So good news there. All right, so moving on to the JFK files. Now in the JFK files, there was a document that just came out and this it is titled Martin Luther King Jr. A Current Analysis. And this was put out March 12th, uh, 1968 is the date on this particular report. Uh, but what I wanna show you, and I'm gonna throw some of it on the screen here, but the reason that they said that this particular document was included in the JFK files uh, was because the course King chose to follow at this critical time could have monument impact on the future of race re relationships in the U.S. And for that reason, uh, this paper has been prepared to give some insight into the nature of the man himself, as well as the nature of his views, his goals, his objectives, tactics, and the reason therefore. Uh, so what I've done is I've read, this is actually a, you know, a short, it's only like 24, I think, ish pages. Uh, but I want to show you some of the highlights of it. Now in this report, uh, they're claiming that MLK has ties to communism and they have a lot of information to back that up. As you can see on page three here, it says strong communist influence at the very top. And it says another uh, complicating factor in the picture is the degree of communist influence on King. One of King's principal's advisors is Stanley David Levison. He gets referenced throughout this entire report. Ostentably, only a New York City attorney and businessman, Levison, is in fact a shrewd, dedicated communist. Levison has spent the major part of his life advancing communist interest. And that's all put through this entire report. Levison also has ties or, or met with the Rockefellers of, of his time, the Rockefellers during his time. And I'm gonna show you that because that's also in this report. Uh, also, if you turn to page five, here's a little more on his communist lifestyle. Uh, communist exposed, but right above that section, the middle paragraph, King is wholehearted Marxist who has studied Marxism, believes in it and agrees with it, but because of his being a minister of religion, does not dare espouse it publicly. Uh, it's something he didn't want to talk about in public. The six, page six here, King speaks at a rally honoring communism. A former communist advisor, you can see there's a section on that. Uh, and also on page eight, it says he has a whole list of people and it lists them by name who all have communist uh, affiliations or some type of affiliation with communism. Page nine here at the very top middle of the paragraph, it says that the communist newspaper known as the, the worker at the time stated that communists will do their utmost to strengthen and unite the Negro movement and bring it to the backing of the working people. Martin Luther King Jr. and his organization were made to order to achieve these objectives. In order to achieve the communist objectives, the Socialist Party, uh, the worker claimed that they made MLK Jr. in order to do that, to accomplish the objective. But the objective at that time was just to give rights to the black to the uh, black community, which obviously we all know how that played out and thankfully so. Uh, but it goes on on page 13, King's proposal paralleled the propaganda line which the Communist Party USA had been projecting regarding the war in Vietnam. Uh, the next part of that just kind of gets into a little more on the Vietnam and the ties with communism. Um, and then moving down a little bit, and I'm gonna skip a few of those sections 
Uh, but on page 18 here, um, we have at the very bottom, I said Levison, who was very involved with MLK, uh, Martin Luther King. But he was advised at the very bottom that some of the people to be invited to this meeting, they were having a meeting, would be the governor and Miss Nelson Rockefeller, Mary and Stephen Rockefeller, and then obviously Franklin D. Roosevelt. Now here is one last bombshell, and this one could drop your jaw to the floor, but it talks about um, King's misconduct or his personal conduct, and I'm going to read it straight from the page uh, so you get the facts. But it says, King held the first of two workshops in Miami to train Negro ministers in urban leadership. One Negro minister in attendance later expressed his disgust with the behind the scenes drinking fornication and homosexuality that went on at the conference. Several Negro and white prostitutes were brought in from the Miami area. An all night sex orgy was held with these prostitutes and some of the delegates in attendance. One room, a large table in which was filled with whiskey, the two Negro prostitutes were paid $50 to put on a sex show for the entire entertainment of guests. A variety of sex acts deviating from the normal were observed. It goes on to say that the activity is not new to King and Associates. As early as January 1964, he engaged in another two-day drunken sex orgy in Washington, D.C. Many of those presently engaged in sexual acts, natural as well as unnatural, for the entertainment of onlookers. When one of the females shied away from in, or shielded away from engaging in unnatural acts, King and other males present discussed how she was to be taught and initiated in this report throughout the years and until this date, King has continued to carry on his sexual apparition secretly by holding himself publicly as basically a moral leader. And the last page here is about King having a mistress, which we've heard about before, uh, but this is where they're confirming it in this document, however. But it's learned in February 1968 from a very responsible LA individual in a position to know that King has been having an illicit love affair with the wife of a prominent Negro dentist in LA, California since 1962. He believes King fathered a baby born to this woman inasmuch as her husband is allegedly sterile. The child resembles King to a great degree and King contributes to the support of this child. It goes on a little further. Uh, he also s s reported that King is having an illicit love affair with three other women, one of whom is Joan Bees, the nationally known folk, folk singer, which we've heard about that, as can, for, can be seen from above in the fact that King not only regularly indulges in adulterous acts, but also the abnormal by engaging in group sexual orgies. So don't shoot the messenger. I am just reading what it says in that report. Obviously, what MLK did for this country uh, was great because we came a very long way and now we're on that equal footing, black, white, Hispanic, uh, Japanese, it doesn't matter who you are or what color you are, we are all equal in God's eyes. And I am thankful that that's where we're at as a country today, or uh, we're, we're in that direction. Obviously, you have uh, race haters and every crate, you know, every color and creed, uh, and that's unfortunate. But I don't care as long as. Uh, we are at the level that we're at, that we have that equality in and amongst each other. It doesn't matter how we got there as long as we're there now. And that's, that's what I see. Uh, but I wanted to share that information with you, leave it for you to mull over and just kind of think about. Uh, but MLK, obviously they're claiming he was illicit and illicit affairs while being a religious man. And they also talk about his communist ties. Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, also, please don't forget to check out my partner at noblegoldinvestments.com. Look, you need to have gold and silver on hand. I'm a huge supporter. Or convert your 401k to a Roth IRA, also another amazing option uh, that you can do. And I'll leave a link below, click on that link, and make sure you have some tangible assets. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.